this is for solution number 3 so let us proceed with solution number as 2 so what does the question say the question says how many have registered or trained in at least two of the three courses so we'll, this is a very simple data set so into the column i have the id so you can just consider these to be ids of the students who might have enrolled into uh, institute or uh, training center and to the column b c d there are different skill set such as the sql python and excel and see different abbreviations used into all these columns here r and t so what does r mean so r means registered for training so uh, wherever r is coming that means that student has registered for that particular training for example the student id 1 has registered for the sql training similarly student id number s2 has registered for the python training program and blank means neither of all so neither the student has registered for the training nor he has completed the training so you can also take into consideration t as the student or the participant has completed the training program for that particular skill set so let us see what is the problem saying we use the same logic we'll be taking into account for each of the students will be taking into account all these three cells and we'll be using the count if or count fs function here to get the details of the students who have registered or trained in at least two of the three courses so let us see this so i'll be counting so i'll be using the count if function i'll be selecting the range here first i'll be counting the number of skill set or the program the students have registered themselves and then i'll be adding this to the number of programs the students have completed so i'll be just selecting the entire range here and then i'll be counting the number of skill sets the students have either trained themselves so you can see two is coming here that means that out of all these three skill sets which is required the students have either registered or trained themselves in two of these skill sets and that is also very much true because you can see in sql the student has registered himself and in python the students has successfully completed the training program let us drag this formula to somewhat a bit and we'll see some more results here so you can see one is coming here because out of all these three skill sets the student has completed the training in this sql but has not registered himself for any of the two programs that is python and excel that is why we are getting one year similarly two is coming here because out of all these three skill sets sql and python the student has registered himself the student id 4 but he has not registered himself for excel workshop so i would just be dragging this formula copying this formula to the very last year now the final thing which we want here is how many have registered or trained in at least two of the three courses so out of all the cells which are present into the column f we need to count the all the cells where the number or the integer value which is present here is greater than one so we'll be using the count if function to do this so count if and we'll be selecting the range here and from this particular range i want to get all those or the number of cells which has value greater than one so i'll be hitting enter and you can see i have got the eight so that means that out of all these students 50 students which are present into my data set eight of them have registered or trained in at least two of the three courses so at least two means it can be two or three or more than two in other terms so or four like but four does not make sense into this particular data set so out of all these 50 students eight of them have registered or trained in at least two of the three courses so we have completed question number two also the last question or the very first question is solution one so we'll be seeing this so the question says how many have neither registered nor completed any of the three courses which are mentioned here this is a very easy problem so we need to count the total number of places or the cells where the blank is coming we'll be using the blank thing into the count if function here so let us proceed with this so i'll be using the count if function the range is the very first row here and the criteria is nothing so either we will be leaving that as blank 
so you can see one is coming because out of all these three cells here one is blank so that means the student has not either registered themselves or completed the excel training program and this is also very much true so just drag this formula to somewhat a little bit below so you can see three is coming here and you can see the student id number as eight has neither registered nor completed any of the three training programs which are mentioned here sql python and excel so that is why we are getting three here because the total number of blank cells is three so we'll be dragging this formula to the very last so you can see we have got the number of cells in which the blank is coming now we need to count the total number of cells which is present into the column g contains number as three so exact three we want because whenever three is coming all these three cells corresponding to the student so let's say for student id as eight all these three cells are getting as blank so we want all these three cells to be blank so we'll be taking into account only the three value here so we'll be using the count if function here and we'll be selecting the range from here and from this particular range i'll be counting three that's all and i'll hit enter so you can see i've got seven so out of all the students which i've mentioned here seven of them have neither registered nor completed any of the three courses sql python and excel which are mentioned here these are the some of the type of questions which are generally asked in this screening round so i hope you like this particular video and you found this video very much useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye